All right, we back. Kenny Gallagher it says the Lions gonna have to pay for this. So he tells the he tells the Lions to ante up on Twitter yesterday after they defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars. He had over 100 yards, no touchdown. But hey, let's talk about it. That subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and basically let's let you know that the Lions ain't wanna pay up for Kenny Gallagher. Pretty, not, I'm, we all not sure what they offered him or what he want. I'm gonna guess he just like in Dominican Sue, he gonna want more than market value for staying in Detroit. And probably he more worth around fifteen or sixteen million, you know, the market. You know, they paid on Mari Cooper and that really messed the market up because Amari Cooper, he not better than Kenny Galladay. He just glorified when the big moments come, he don't show up, especially on the road. But um, you know, I am guessing he won around twenty. And the franchise tag is around just over seventeen million, almost eighteen million. So next year the cap is supposed to come down, but I'm pretty not I'm pretty sure that franchise tag gonna be around eighteen million, so I don't even think they're gonna franchise tag them. I just think at this point, um, they gotta make the decision are they gonna pay him? Um, you know, this year obviously he missed what a few games, two or three or four games, whatever it was. So his stats won't be as good as they was last year. But personally, if you not if you don't want to pay him, and by the time the trade deadline come week eight, you know that y'all can't come to a compromise, you gotta trade him. Because if the franchise have a receiver around $18 million, I'm pretty sure they don't want to pay him the $18 million or whatever he want. So if they if, if he asks for anything less than $18 million, you know, they probably not going to tag him and let him walk. So you don't see too many signing trades in football because that bonus money, you know, that signing bonus money, that come right now. So that's coming out the team's pocket. So, um, you know, personally, I ain't mad at him, you know. You, your notoriety getting hurt because you got drafted to Detroit and Detroit don't win. Same thing that happened to Calvin Johnson. He got stuck with, with Matthew Stafford and Scott Linehan and all the other, you know, Lombardis and um, who else we didn't have, um, um, Jim Bob Cooters, who don't know how to, you know, get on the football. They only went to Calvin when, you know, they was down by like 20 points. And the same thing, you know, with Kenny Galladay. You know, watching Kenny Galladay, and um, T.J. Hawkinson had just as many targets as Marvin Jones and, you know, other, you know, Dan Danny Amendola some Sundays. It just don't make no sense. The Lions have always been stupid for, like, since Stafford has been here. They just want to be able, and past that, too, and before that, they just want to get a ball to everybody. No, what you do is you get your ball to your playmakers. When they start to double your playmakers, then you start going to Marvin Jones and the Galladay and stuff of that nature. And, you know, for Kenny Galladay, he just probably want to get out of here. I'm not mad at him. You know what I'm saying? Bob Bob Quinn gave him an opportunity, and he really a top eight receiver, but he not getting the notoriety because the Lions won't win. So, to be honest, I just see them probably letting him walk. You know, I seen him letting Dominican Sue walk. I seen him let uh, Barry walk. They let Calvin walk, even though they walk into retirement. The, a smart a smart team would do. Okay, we're not gonna pay you. We're gonna trade you. You know, you probably get a second round draft pick for him. That might come in handy next year. If you can get a one from somebody, that'd be nice. But I doubt that because they got to pay them. They got to pay them. And like I said before, man, that, was a, that wasn't a subliminal message. That was a, a yell at the Lions. And apparently, the probably Lions probably offered him $10, $11, 12000000 million. And if they let him walk and don't get nothing from him, that just lets you know what this organization is like. And is it Bob Quinn or is it Sheila, you know, not wanting to pay him? Who matter? Who cares? He probably take less to go somewhere else. I'm telling you, he doing what Dominican Sue did. He want more to stay in Detroit. You know, if they let him walk, it'd be beautiful for him because he gonna get paid somewhere else. Somebody gonna take that talent, especially come with a new quarterback next year. So that's why the Lions will never win. People say, "Where's the Lions cheap at?" They cheap everywhere. Look at their whole defense. Cheap. Danny Sheldon, cheap. Nick Williams, cheap. Who else we got out there? Jamie Collins. He got paid, but you know he ain't no big player. But it's just just the way they rocking though. But Galladay said you gotta pay for this ish. I ain't mad at him. I think if, I think they either gonna trade him or he's gonna walk. But if they pay him, I'd be surprised. But I think they trying to show next year or about the old numbers is down. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think his hamstring was injured like that, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think about Galladay sending a message to the Lions. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, cry, response, your video quests. Keep sharing the videos. Best way to share the best way to donate is share the video. But cash up CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Let me know what you guys think. We don't.